Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2. We are now going to get right back into For Men Only. Now before we do, certainly peace and blessings, I hope, has been upon you this day. And may it be upon you and your family this evening too. And for men only, we are in chapter number four, which is entitled, Your Real Job is Closer to Home. This is take number two of the section, What Security Means to Her. And it goes like this. Since most guys would never even think to put emotional and security together in the same sentence. What does such a foreign concept look like in practical terms? Here's what we've learned. Number one, she feels that the two of you are close. Number two, she feels that you make time together a priority. Number three, she sees your commitment to her. Number four, she sees that you are active in the life of the home. And even, number five, she sees you making an effort to provide. As long as that doesn't crowd out, number one through number four. Let's briefly outline each one. Number one, she feels secure when you two feel close. Creating a sense of closeness between the two of you is more important than anything else to a woman. It is almost a synonym for emotional security. And I was encouraged to see that it was so easy. For us guys, money in the bank helps us feel safe and successful. But for women, the currency that counts is more likely to be a strong sense of closeness or intimacy with their man. In other words, your wife wants to be your love and your best friend. To know that she is yours and you are hers. For women, the currency that counts is a strong sense of closeness or intimacy with their man. And here's a surprise for us guys. Living in the same house and even having sex doesn't necessarily mean that she feels close. To you. Most married guys I know just assume a level of closeness. We share a house and a bed. How could we not be close? But for our wives, proximity and sex do not equal closeness. Consider the following exchange from one focus group when we asked how women felt when men traveled away. From home. Question. Is the only cure for loneliness for him to be there? Answer. Not necessarily. And anyway, it's very easy to be lonely when he is physically there. So what builds closeness? So what does create a sense of closeness? Most of us, it is the little things that come along with being each other's one. Love and two. Best friend. It means that she feels you belong to and love each other. Even small little gestures convey love and build closeness in a way I never would have thought. 
and they are so doable. Shanti puts it this way. It's not that the little things somehow make a difference. It's that the little things are the difference between feeling secure and loved or not. The big things, some big romantic dinner, for example, don't do that as much. They are wonderful once in a while. But they don't come close to building the same feeling of being loved that comes from when you reach for my hand in a parking lot. Or leave me a silly voicemail calling me a special nickname. That's just between us. And here is the thing, guys. I didn't used to do those things that much. But once I discovered that the little things were that important, well, heck, those I can do. Every woman will be touched by different little things. But let me give you an example that proves this is not rocket science. In one focus group, we were talking about what makes women feel loved, when to my surprise, Shanti began describing a recent incident. She and I had been walking through a parking lot and I put my hand on the small of her back to steer her through some rows of cars. Hearing that, Every other woman in the room put her hand to her heart or clasped her hands together and sighed. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. What a good guy. The other man in the room and I looked at each other in utter shock. Especially since at that time, I've been worried that Shanti might get mad at me for telling her what to do. Since that would have been my reaction in a similar situation. The little things are the difference between feeling secure and loved or not. Number two. It means that she feels you two are best friends. Being close doesn't mean that you are her best friend expected to talk for hours. But it does mean that you two know each other better than anyone else. As one woman put it, my sense of security with my husband doesn't just come from expressing my emotions, but from knowing he is. Another said, I don't think he understands how desperately I want to be known. He's a wonderful husband, godly, attentive. But I really want him to be more interested in who I really am. Number two, she feels secure when you make time together a priority. As you might imagine, another thing that makes her feel secure is knowing that after God, she's your priority. Knowing that she and the kids come before your job and that you care for her first, even if you feel your job is what you do to care for your family. One representative wife put it like this. We can have plenty of money stored away and be very secure financially. But if I'm not secure about whether I'm a priority for my husband, all that money doesn't mean much. But on the other hand, if I know that he is there for me, I can face any struggles financially. If I know that he is there for me, I can face any struggles financially. For us nuisance challenged men, here's a simplified summary of what being a priority 
usually means to her. It is the amount of time and attention you give her outside of traditional work hours, meaning outside 40 or 50 hours a week, compared to anything else. Since there are only a limited number of possible together hours in a day, she views every above the norm hour spent on your work or outside interests as coming directly from the few hours she expected to spend with you. A wife does not expect her husband to spend every off-the-job hour with her. But to feel emotionally secure, she can't feel that he's consistently choosing other time priorities over her. As one woman said, my husband is a very good provider, dearly loves his family and says I complete him in every way. But he rarely seems willing to spend one-on-one -on -one time with me or to share my life. Yet he always has time for the guys. I know he also needs his friends, but this lack of me in his day-to-day -day life is causing a big drift in our marriage. Number three, she feels secure when you demonstrate your commitment. Your wife needs to feel in the core of her being that nothing will scare you away and that you will do whatever you need to do to ensure that nothing comes between the two of you. One woman put it perfectly. I need to know that he will be there for me no matter what. We have a good relationship, but I still need to know that he's not going anywhere, physically or emotionally. One simple way to demonstrate this commitment is to use the example of reassurance after conflict that we've talked about. In chapter 2, number 4, she feels secure when you are active in parenting and the life of the home. Women feel secure when they see their husband choosing to be an active participant in the life of the home, even if it means reworking other priorities. Unfortunately, if a man isn't careful, his laudable drive to provide may prevent him from taking the active role in the life the couple set out to enjoy together. Some wives felt that they started out as a general partner with their husbands, but somewhere along the way, wound up as a sole proprietor. One wife said, while we not wealthy. We have some good funds saved up, but my husband seemed to feel like we're always on the verge of a problem, so he has to always get that extra client, that extra paycheck, even if it means being locked in his home office all night after dinner. With no time to play with the kids, will he ever feel that we have enough? I appreciate having that cushion, but not when it hurts us. Another, by contrast, explained why she felt so secure. My husband is working hard, but I'm so grateful that he also recognizes that kids need a dad's presence as much as they need a mom's. So many of my friends are frustrated that they have to ask their husbands to babysit. As if the kids aren't his kids too. My husband is so wonderful about recognizing that, yes, he's tired, but so am I. And the fact that he'll play with the kids or manage the dishes really gives me the sense that we're all in this together. Further, 
Quite a few busy moms told us that simply being appreciated by their husbands also helped them feel very secure. Any hard-working guy can understand the security that comes from feeling appreciated. Any hard-working guy can understand the security that comes from feeling appreciated. That does complete this take. Uh, stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 when we go through uh, number 5. She feels secure when you do make an effort to provide. So until we um, come back with number 5, I want you and your family to be blessed. Have a wonderful rest of this evening. And until I speak with you soon, I want you to be well and take care. And I'll talk with you later. Until then, later, y'all.